Paint all the pigs. Hello everyone and welcome to Frogmasters vlog for the Warhammer 40,000 gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And welcome to this uh, new painting guide. This is my 10th painting guide for this vlog. And today I'm gonna be dwelling into an entirely new thing which happens to be Chaos Renegades or Traitor Guardsmen. Uh, they, they have many names and, but they are still the same thing. They are the typical backbone human soldiers of the forces of chaos in the 40k universe. If you have seen my previous episode called How to Assemble Traitor Guardsmen uh, you get a pretty much idea of uh, what you could be using for a um, trader guardsman. There are so many ways to go to uh, how to do them, and, uh, uh, and this is just a small portion of how I'm doing them. I'm actually gonna try and expand that to a bigger area. Uh, but yeah, so now you know pretty much how you could assemble them. Let's go into how. Uh, how you're gonna be painting them and at my disposal we have an aspiring champion slash chaos sergeant and uh, there's two reasons because behind why I chose this guy to be the sergeant first of all he has a, a too big uh, upper forex as you can see here so he can't hold any last gun it's impossible and also he looks kind of like a surgeon with the robes and everything so I thought it look, looks way awesome if he would have a sheen sword then then we have this second guy the second in command, he's the one of my favorite uh, renegades actually uh, I'm not entirely certain how I'm supposed to do him so that's why I'm gonna give him two options either we have a weapon where he holds it up like this like he's taking a chilly moment or we could do a grenade that he's holding a grenade is ready to throw it away and that's one thing I will have to get back to in later later parts of this painting guide then we have this guy he's gonna be standing chilly with the gun downwards like I got everything under control and then this guy he's kind of in a bit of hurry trying to dodge bullets go zigzagging stuff like that as I said uh, in uh, how to assemble uh, uh, how to assemble treat the guardsmen uh, these will be painted trying to look more of chaos undivided with a bit of undertone of corn so the main colors for corn usually is red, so for the main uniform, meaning the clothes, like here, here on the legs and on the arms, I will be painting Evil Sun Scarlet as the main color. And then for the armor, I'm going for a more grayish, the, the, fl the flake armor, I think it's called, I'm going for a more grayish tone. And there I will be using Codex Gray. And then for the metallics, I'm using lead venture. You see here. And for skin color, uh, these are supposed to be deeply corrupted from, within from the soul, so they are not supposed to have regular skin color. And for that, I'm gonna be going for a more nurgle, nurgle tone. And then I'm using rotting flesh as you can see here so yeah so I think that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for step one everyone uh, I should tell you guys already now that I haven't planned this out I'm just going by I'm going on a out on a limb here like yeah let's wing it a little bit but I, I think this is a very good foundation for these four models I should also tell you guys that uh, this this painting guide will be different because I will be doing several painting guides at the same time. So these four will serve as the main backbone of the painting guide. They will be step 1.0. So now you know how step 1.0 will be. Um, let's go and check out how step 
1.1 will be. So see you all in a second. So yeah, welcome back to step 2.1, I believe it would be, either that or step 2.0, no matter way. Uh, yeah, so these are my Chaos Undivided with the bit undertone of corn in them. And let's check out that what I've been doing with the colors which I presented to you in my previous uh, step. I painted the main colors, which is red and gray. And let's check out the weapons. Uh, I can tell you right now that uh, I haven't finished the grenades on this and this, so I will have to fix that for the next step. And fix the gray on certain areas and stuff like that. So what I'm going to be doing for the next part is that I'm start out with Abaddon Black and I'm going to be painting that on the feet, on, the, on their shoes and on the ground as a base. And I'm going to be painting Mornfang Brown on the weapons like the last pistol, the last gun and perhaps on, let's see if I... I uh, uh, or you could also paint Mornfang Brown on some pouches, like you know, some of these grenades usually come with the ammo patch, you could paint that in, in Mornfang Brown as well. Now I don't have one at my disposal, but I think in a, a later one of the other models which I'm currently doing as, at the same time actually does have a pouch, so you would have to see that part. To say so, and as you can see on perhaps this, and you can see here and here, is that some of these chaos renegades has the mark of chaos undivided, the eight pointed star, and for that I'm gonna I'm trying to make some kind of variety to make each one different so I'm gonna be filling out those stars with different colors I think perhaps this one and this one I'm gonna be painting a Sherman blue uh, which is a old wash I think the new is called Gilliman blue but I could be wrong and I think I'm gonna be trying on this one and that I'm gonna be using ball red which is an old wash color also it's I think it's called Kersberg crimson now I believe and after that I think I'm gonna be and after that I'm gonna be painting also goblin green on their eye lenses as you can see here here and here and the last one as you can see here those will be painted in goblin green and finally the last thing I'm gonna be doing is none oil on the entire model oh I almost forgot here in the backpack you see some kind of uh, pipe or whatever uh, I'm talking about this
that's I, I would recommend painting goblin green on that as well. But and and at the and as the last thing you use non oil. So that's what I'm gonna be doing on these models for the next part. So see you in step three, everyone.